This is going to be just a shortish video. I've had a couple of emails lately about uh, questions about the system builder and the rules and uh, a couple of other things. And I just thought I'd go over them for just to recap a few things about the system builder briefly. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the saved systems up here. OK, you can save you can save as many systems as you like. And you can name them and you can edit them and delete them, etc. OK, so once you've let me just um, let me open a system. I did a blog post recently about the red ratings. OK, uh, this is the um, two free systems that uh, I put on the blog post, which you can use. OK, so I'm just going to open this one here. This is back all red ratings. OK, so if I then uh, changed anything on here. Let's say I put the preview, or oh, wanted to save it again. This is just how to save a system, okay? So you've got the system, you've created your system, you've you've added the rules, you've been through it, you're, you're happy with it, you want to save it. So you then click Add System, okay? And that comes back to the top. And you can add the system, you can call it what you like. I'll call it Test Backing. You call it what you like. And you have, uh, click Update, and that will then save that system. OK, and that will now be down the bottom of the list. You've got the true and false. You've got active. OK, if a, if a system is active, if it's, if it's true, then when you click load decks, OK, you can you will get all of the declarations for all of your systems that are set as true. So the ones you're playing around with, you can leave as false. The ones you want to you're working on and you want the decks each day, OK, you can call them. Um, you can you can change them to be true. So I'm just going to change. I'm going well. This uh, let me go back to the, uh, the 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 first one back all red. Okay. So I'm going to. When you want to change anything on a system, just make sure you open it. Okay. I know that was sim that was a similar system to what I've just had, but just make sure you click on system so that was called test backing this is back all red ratings okay and if we go down that's now opened back all red ratings so if you want to change anything just make sure you open the system first otherwise you might uh, overwrite something so this this system here is false you click edit tick the box click update and that's now true okay so the lay red rating, lay no red ratings. This was the lay system that I gave uh, gave you on the um, blog post. The blog post was called laying bigger priced horses, I think, something like that. Laying bigger priced horses. So I'm going to open lay no red red lay no red ratings. Okay, so that's now opened. You can see down here, and I'm going to set that one as true as well. So you've got lay no red ratings. Click edit. Tick the box, click update, and that's now true. Okay. So from you, you can you can your first fifty systems that are ticked as true uh, can be op can be shown when you click the load decks. Okay, up to your to, up to your first fifty. If you've got more systems like I have, well, I've only got half a dozen true. But if you've got um, sixty that you want to use, you'll have to do it in two batches. But to be fair, 50 is quite a lot of systems. So this will do all of your first fit up to your first 50 systems that are set as true. OK, so once they're set as true, you can then click this button here, load decks. OK. And that will then go through these. And all the ones that you've got set as true will turn to green. OK, then you can come down to the bottom. OK, and it shows from all those systems, you've got 16 uh, declarations from all of those systems okay and what you get as well is you get the number of the system so there was one of the earlier systems which was system 4 and the rest of them are these 62s and 64s okay which are as you can see here 62 lay no red ratings 64 back all red ratings okay you can filter these to get uh, contains just the number you want to or or whatever you want to do but uh, that is the systems and they're all listed by race time okay and then to say you've got the number of the system to the right hand side so that's the that's this that's the way to 
you can get the decks for up to 50 systems your first 50 systems that are all set as true okay and then again to change it you just want to in fact i'm going to cancel that and just make sure i've got that system open lane red no no red ratings edit ticket as false and update so that's now false open back all red ratings edit untick it untick the box click update and that's now false okay so you just make sure the ones that you want if you want to get all system selections in one in one go all the ones that are ticked as true by editing ticking the box and then uh, saving updating and then you click this load decks button and you'll get all your system uh, selections and i say you get the uh, the number of the system by the side so you can check it out okay so a couple of other things i wanted to just go through i'm going to just make a little bit of room here so i'm just going to delete some of these rules The very basics is to add a rule you click add a rule if you want to add a group there's more of this on the website or some videos this is where you want to add uh, two or three of the same type of thing okay but if you just add a rule you click the box and then you have all of these categories that you can choose from okay all of them you get all of the the win percentages etc last time out one two and three details trainer jockey odds and ratings okay so that's how you do that so the first thing i just wanted to go over we recently added the uh, change to the course name so instead of uh, having to select if you wanted 10 courses instead of having to choose add add 10 rules we've now got them all on this one panel and if you do still want just one course let's say brighton leave this as equal but if you want more courses, you want to change that to in. Okay. If you want to not count more than one course, you want not in. And if you want to not count just one course, you choose not equal. Okay. So that's, uh, that makes the course names a lot easier now and you can select, um, any of uh, as many as you want just on this one panel so I'll delete that one and we'll open another one and this time i'm going to talk about the race title uh there's 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 lots of different types of races okay and we haven't got them all at the moment this might change when we go to the racing post api soon but at the present time if you click race title so let's supposing you just want maiden races then you want the race title to contain well it's there actually i've done it before maiden okay but you can you, this could be anything you could type in uh novice selling stakes seller you could be choosing well here we have you, you've got here we've got handicaps but you don't want maiden handicaps okay uh you could choose handicaps not novice handicaps okay so this is all uh, you can you can combine these these all together. But the race title, whatever you don't want, amateur conditional or what you do want, amateur conditional, uh, apprentice, whatever type of race there is that you want or you don't want, either contains or doesn't contain. Okay, so you'd now get handicaps, just just handicaps that don't uh, that aren't novice handicaps in the results. Okay. Uh, another one was the how do you show a horse that's running in a handicap first time so for this one you want to go to the well let's just say we've already got handicap so it's running in this race is, is now going to be a handicap how do we know it's its first handicap race okay so i'll i'll take this race title one <clears throat> and if you go down to the l t o b h a rating okay and show that as equal naught so it, it the horse will only get a bha rating when it's run in a handicap so if it hasn't run in a handicap it will have a bh rating of naught and today's race is a handicap so this means that this will let's see if there's any today uh 
this is another thing I was obviously just going to go through, but this is how to get, you can either choose the results or the declarations. And as long as we're showing going forward to the today's date, that's fine for the year. Uh, so we, we, we're looking at uh, horses being number of runners, 7 and 12, that are running in the first time handicap today. So you've got declarations, click apply rules, and there's 11, okay? So these 11 horses are running in handicap for the first time. So that's that one. Um, what else? I was just going to show the, the ranking positions. Uh, seems to confuse a few people, which is absolutely fine. The let's go for the master rating. Okay. Master. If you want the top three, you want position, you want the top rating, the second top rating and the third top rating. That's master rating one, two, and three. So for the top three, you want to choose less or equal three. Okay. If you want to choose those that aren't the top three, then greater or equal four or how, whatever position you want. If you want the, the top two, you will pick less or equal two. Okay, so that's with all the ranking positions. Now, there's two, um, two uh, rules uh, that we have that are perhaps need uh, explaining a little bit. They are shown as rules, and I think they do confuse people. So let me just open one of those systems. Let me open the red ratings I'm just good this was the test one so just to delete it this is the one I don't want anymore it's just a copy of that almost so click delete are you sure you want to click uh, delete it yes okay and all the numbers will just always stay in order okay so I'm going to open back all red ratings so this was the free one on the blog post uh, we've got results here okay so I'm just going to run the results I'm just going to run them for 2004 just to make it uh, for this year. Okay, so um, apply the rules. And these are all the uh, these are all the results. Okay, now the horses in blue are winners and the horses in red are placed on the Betfair place rules. Okay, but let's suppose you wanted to just see all of your results, but just the ones that won. Okay, you might want to uh, export these to Excel and look at the prices or whatever you want to do. So on this one, we've, you've got your system, okay? And you have got, you can then add a rule or add the rule, which is in the horse section, they're all divided up as a horse section. And you want finishing position, okay? So finishing position equals one. So that now filters all of these, uh, all of these results. So if we run that again, you will see that it has just returned all of the winners, okay? So there, there might be a reason, like I say, you might want to see uh, how what the, the longest date between a winner or the prices of the winners, etc., etc. And the other one that is the same type of thing, which is another filter. And perhaps I should put this in a filter section. Uh, let me just say, if you wanted, I've got finishing position. So that filters what your results already are. But if you wanted uh, horses that won last time out, which I think people probably think, some people think they might be doing, you want last time out position numeric equals one, okay? So that's your, that's, that will filter the, the whole system. So that will give you all of these rules, plus the horse had to have won last time out, okay? But the finishing position will uh, filter your results. The other one that filters the results is cumulative lengths beaten, which is there, okay? And again, this will... Um, show you all horses let's say all horses uh beaten by less or equal length okay so you've got your rules you've got the uh this, this is just a filter this this will run your rules that you've got up here fly the rules and you get all horses that uh obviously the winners 
most of the horses that placed, but you will get some that uh, this came third, but it was obviously in a race where it wasn't paying uh, three places. Okay. So this will just show, uh, let's see if we can find one that came fourth or, yeah, yeah. So this horse came fourth, but was beaten under a length. Okay, just it's just another, it's just a filter. So you might want to export these to Excel if you wanted to cumulative length, cumulative lengths beaten greater or equal four. Obviously, this is going to show no winners. And you click apply rules, and these are all the ones that were beaten for whatever reason. You might want to um, check that out. Uh, I think in, uh, I'm going to delete that uh, rule and just run that quickly again. Delete that rule. Apply the rules. Okay. So that's our rules for this year, uh, results for this year. Clearly, I think most people know to you include the breakdowns. If you want the breakdowns, give you the uh, divide each um, particular category up and you can add as many or as few as you want. Uh, you can, uh, all, the, all the ones that we have rules on, can be chosen as result breakdowns and i've just got a few here once you've changed yours or whatever you want to do you can just uh tick the box to get rid of them or tick them here to put them back click save settings go back to your system make sure you include breakdowns and apply the rules okay and then you get all of the Everything's broken down by whatever category you've chosen. So you can see how things fared for all of the different numbers of runners, the race ages, race types, etc. So uh, that's that one. Uh, include the breakdowns. Let me have a look. Um, obviously, you've got your you've got your results. You can export your results to Excel or to CSV file. Okay, that just downloads to your download folder. We have export to TSM. TSM is the staking machine. It's another website that gives you staking plans and allows you to manipulate your results. But uh, we've got we can you can download your results straight into a TSM file. Okay, so let me just do that. I'll export that and it comes up on my one it comes up here but it's into your downloads okay so then as long as you've got the staking machine it's definitely worth a look it's um it's really inexpensive and you can really play it helps with your systems to play around with your systems as well so as long as you've got the tsm the staking machine software on your computer you open the file okay and that, that will open your set of results directly into TSM. Now, all you have to do is tick comma, okay? And then click next. And just start import data from row two, because we've got the headers on ours, okay? So you're going to start from row two, which is the first course. And all of these are set as you want. So then just click next. Um, if there's a there's a bit of false failure there, but I'm not going to worry about that just now. You can replace what you've already got if you're playing around with more results, or you can append it. But click finish, and <clears throat> then you excuse me. Then you've got uh, all of the results here with all that you can play around with all of the staking plans in the the staking machine. You can play around with all of the data manipulation and everything. The only thing I would say is if you wanted to was um, reverse the sequence if you want it in proper time order because on our results, you get the latest result first. Okay, but um, you might want to have the first result on the top and work your way down. Okay, and then you can say change all your just change all your staking plans if you want to find the best staking plan and play around with that and I'd, I'd recommend the staking machine uh to anyone especially if you're uh, using the system builders and creating your own systems the final thing i'm going to look at is the els calculator so we've got here we've got um what was i on backing system okay so this is just helps you to work out your staking plan and your uh, betting bank 
So on this system, the longest losing streak was 26, okay? So click the ELS calculator, that opens up here. And you can put in, uh, what was it, 26? Just for this one, this is uh, 26, okay? And so if you're starting with a 500 pound bank and your longest losing run is 26, you can then multiply that by any of these numbers up here to give yourself a bit more security, okay? So if you wanted to double this, it means you're going to run the system and allow for 52 losers, double times two, 52, um, 52 losers on the trot before the bank goes bankrupt. You could play it to be two and a half times 26, and um, so that means your bank would withstand 65 losers on the trot, whereas we've only had 26. Okay, this is only over this year, but if I think I think if you if we did that to 2021, I think that is the biggest one on this one. Let me just run that again. So we've got year greater or equal 2021. Uh, let me just run that again. Twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. So in what's that? Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Three and a half years. There's only been a longest losing streak of twenty-seven. Okay. So put twenty-seven in there, and whatever your bank is, you can change that to two hundred if you want to start with a two hundred pound bank. And supposing you want to be quite quite. Um, quite risk averse so you're going to go by two and a half times that so that means you're going to allow for well 68 losers on the trot before your bank uh, is before you're bankrupt bearing in mind you've been three and a half years and you've only had a losing run of 27 okay so that could happen um on the bounce so that would be 54 you've covered yourself you could say three let's say we're going to go three we're going to cover our bank for 81 losers we've got a 200 pound bank that means we're going to put 1.23% 1 1 on each bet. And the first bet it, with a £200 bank is £2.47, okay? If you wanted to double it and you wanted to say, I'm going to uh, run this uh, to cover myself 54 losers, your first bet would be 370 What you can do is then you can keep uh, going back to this. Let's say your bank has increased to £2.76. These will all change. You're on a times two, so your next date will be £5.11. Okay, so I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about in the main on here. Okay. Yeah, there was a couple of other things I just wanted to go through, just thinking it over. Uh, one of them is the, you have these saved systems here, just in case you wanted to move computer or something went wrong. It's always worth saving your your best systems or the systems that you really are using, save them to your computer as a, on a text file, okay? So once you've got your system uh, open, click Save Rules, okay? And that will open in, that will be saved into your Downloads folder. And you open that file. These, this is how it uh, looks. It might look like gobbledygook, but uh, you can probably find a few things that uh, mean makes sense but this is how the rules are saved and opened into the system builder so if you click file and save as and let's say you wanted to save it as um i don't know it was lay red rating i think it was or whatever you want to call it saves as a text document okay so that's now saved and i would suggest definitely suggest that you save even if you had 50 systems that you're using, it wouldn't take long to save them all into um, all onto your computer and uh, then put them all into a safe, they'll all be in your downloads and put them into a file somewhere safe so you can... Um, this market is now in play. So you can then load, load the rules here, okay? Uh, and that will bring you, you can then find the, uh, the folder that you've saved all your systems on and open it as you could do um as you would do here but it, it, you've got them here it doesn't take long just to save it as a once you've got it save it as a, a text file and then you're you're safe in case anything goes wrong 
The final thing is the declarations. And I just wanted to say that, um, reset these rules, clear these rules. Uh, you don't have to, you can't, you don't need to just to have a system to find, uh, declarations, um, every day. You can, you, you can find, you can use it to find anything you want to. So if you put, um, year greater or equal 24, you might want to just find, um, runners in handicaps today. Okay. That ran days since run that ran in the last 31 days over a race distance of less or equal mile four, where the um, trainer, let's say the trainer has win percentage in the last 14 days greater or equal 30. So you've got declarations ticked up there, apply the rules and there are 10. Okay. So you can, you can, you can use any of the rules. You don't, it doesn't have to be a system. You can find horses that have one at the class three or more times horses that have a jockey that's in form. However, you want to um, describe that yourself. Um, but you can, you could, these are all the horses that now the declarations that all show below or whatever you, you might just, uh, well, I wonder if there's any horses running over five furlongs today that came second last time out. Okay. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to search, you don't, doesn't have to be a saved system. So you can use the declarations builder or the systems builder to find declarations for anything you want and any combination of all of the form criteria that we have here. Favourite last time out, I just spotted. Horse placed last 12 months. Draw last time out, etc. etc. Okay. So you can you can use you can use the system builder to find the decks on a on a day any day you want to, just whatever you feel like uh whatever you feel like searching on the system builder, you can find the decks for the day for those that combination of form.